on the trap, whoa. Welcome back, everybody. You already know this your girl heaven sent. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, so this is going to be your blackout for the weekend. Keep in mind, this re is general and it may not resonate with no damn body. You see what I'm saying? No, let me tap right in because the energies for this weekend, okay, it's like. It's going to be a new, beautiful, emotional experience for a motherfucker, okay? This is dealing with a friendship, a relationship, like two motherfuckers who is vibing, who is feeling one another, like you two both get each other, okay? Sometimes, you know... But for the majority of the time, it's like, okay, it's a special connection with whoever this motherfucker is. Now, whoever this motherfucker is, is very compassionate, okay? Very accomplished, charismatic, very grounded, all right? This person is financially secure, very prosperous okay a supportive parent a supportive spouse all right a good person to work with work for you know what i'm saying now even though they get all those good qualities okay about them this person may have different baby mamas okay this person could also sometimes may act like a female a little bit you know it's like okay what <laughs> like you know it's some type of way about them that could be unattractive Something that you just may can't no longer be able to tolerate, okay? This person could also be dealing with someone that it's like they both are unemotional and unavailable, okay, to one another. This person could also keep their options open. All right, maybe just confused and just don't know what they want, who is good for them. Just they know they want to be happy, but they may just be weighing up their options. And like this weekend, they may just want to offer you the real deal. You know what I'm saying? They may want to get serious or settle down or offer something that makes sense okay so this is definitely a beautiful new emotional experience this weekend with a certain motherfucker on some real shit and whoever this person is is worried like it's no tomorrow okay this person they is the type that have sleepless nights okay but they also expect the worst thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies like their thoughts become their reality like that's how negative they think about certain situations like the shit they can really manifest negativity into their motherfucking life no bullshit but dealing with this situation between you two, they think the worst on like, if you gonna even accept this, like, or even if you is gonna go out with them, 
You know what I'm saying? On a date, in public, accept whatever they're offering. Like, is it good enough? You know what I'm saying? They worry. Like, they... They a mess. You know, they a mess. This person... This person can only fuck this up. Like, in like the only way for this shit to go wrong is dealing with like this person would have to literally do something that's gonna fuck up everything. Okay? Like they fear that. This is just going to be destroyed. Like, it's just... Something is going to happen where it's just... Ain't no coming back from it. Like, they really think... Fucked up about this. They really think fucked up. The way they think is fucked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn... Why do you think the worst when it comes to a certain person? Like, it's like, do you just want everything to come crumbling the fuck down? Like, because that's what's going to fucking happen. It's like, okay. This could definitely be some, like, whoever this person is could definitely be like wishy-washy or kind of fickle. Like, can't really make up their mind, you know, in love with you, but scared to admit it. It's like that. Put all the time in, patient like a motherfucker. But when it comes down to proving the love, it's like motherfuckers get nervous. This is the type of motherfucker that get nervous. I feel like your energy, it's like you just enjoying the fruits of your labor at this point, okay? Very happy and successful. It's like whatever hard work and dedication that you put in towards something, it has led you to live a luxurious life, okay? You could be self-employed, you love it. You enjoying the solitude. Like you, it's something about you. It's like you reached a goal that you wanted in life. Like whatever you was trying to do, you're doing it. It's easy to you. Like you don't need nobody co-signing around this bitch for your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like that type of shit. And I feel like whoever this person is, you may be used to the unemotional and the unavailable energy. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's like it don't fuck with you. Because it's like you doing your own thing. You got your own shit going on. It's like you're not even worried about if a motherfucker is there or not. Like, Because it's like you pretty much got your shit together. So emotionally... Motherfuckers ain't around, under just unavailable. It's like you just really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with it, but you could communicate with this person every day. You know what I'm saying? But you know the emotional. It's like a a detachment there. You know, something ain't clicking. Something ain't clicking. But I feel like this person loves to talk to you loves to communicate with you i feel like it makes their day when they communicate with you this person is actually happy for you because you in this energy of independence and you just just could be spending money on yourself you know what i'm saying like just self-love just self-love like you putting yourself on a pedestal around this bitch you know what i'm saying like you think highly of yourself and i feel like this person loves that they enjoy 
talking about you. Like you may be, they enjoy talking to you, talking about you, but you may be more talking about your accomplishments and this person is loving that. They do. They love to hear what the fuck you got going on. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them. But when it comes to this person not being available at times, you it don't it don't phase you because of what you doing. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you was a motherfucker who ain't got going, ain't got shit going for yourself, and just worried about what this person is doing, you know what I'm saying? It's like that would be like a motherfucker just desperate and ain't got no life. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't on none of that. Okay, you it, it's different. You different. It's like you you doing your own thing. It's like shit. I don't need a I don't need a motherfucker around me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like that type of energy you in. And this person loves that about you. Cuz it's like, okay, I don't have time to worry about what the fuck you not doing. It's like cuz I'm doing some other shit. You know what I'm saying? I got places to go people to see around this bitch you know what I'm saying but I feel like whoever this person is you are very attracted to this person they attracted to you but sometimes this person may start things but don't finish like say they're gonna do this but don't do that like say, oh yeah, you know I'm gonna do this. We're gonna I'm gonna take you here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna fly the world. You know what I'm saying? Just talking, like kicking something off, but not following following through with it. Like this person knows that they are they have manifested this situation to be right where it's at. Like they know it, and. It's at a point where you just may just don't no longer want to tolerate it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know that, okay, if this person texts you like, okay, we going to go such and such or we going to do this and that. It's like, you don't even take it serious. It's like, okay, okay. You know, you give a motherfucker two words, texts, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, sure. Well, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then that's it. That's it. It's like, okay, where is the rest? Like, where is the motherfucker follow, following through with it? This person does not follow through with any other shit. You know what I'm saying? You may have had to finish it. Like, you know, add on to it. Or, like, it's like, okay, whatever this person says or it, it's just not credible. You know? It's not. So whatever happens this weekend, I feel like you're going to be surprised. Okay, this is definitely going to be a new emotional experience. Because whatever is going on this weekend, you have not done it with this person. It has not been a, a, an experience like this. This person may have criticized you a lot. Like judged you a lot. Overpass shit. You know, like just old shit, old things. It's like now they recognize that's becoming a burden on them. You living in the past. Okay. Like it's time for a motherfucker to seek out some self-discovery, you know, stop criticizing other motherfuckers and look in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Like this person is definitely doing that. Have done that maybe. Like, motherfucker, you ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, that type of shit that this person may have, like, really criticized you a lot on some shit. And it's like, okay, how you gonna talk about me, motherfucker? You can't even follow through with anything. Like, it sound good, motherfucker, but when is it gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? It's like that type of shit dealing with whoever this motherfucker is. This person is afraid. This person fears that you may not, like the attraction is going to be gone. Like 
they know that their time is almost up like this is about to wrap up like this is about to be over they fear that about it that it's about to be over it's let's wrap this let's wrap this the fuck up this cycle has has completed itself like they fear that so much they're gonna manifest that this person whatever happens dealing with this shit situation just know this is all dealing with this person's thoughts so whatever this person thinks that's what's going to happen to this situation that's what's going to fucking happen so if this person think the worst that's what's going to fucking happen if this person thinks highly of it and positive that's what's going to happen it's just going to be a beautiful situation but this person thoughts live this person lives in fear so much dealing with this situation they're gonna fuck it up just by the way they viewing it (laughs) that's why i'm like this the only way this could be fucked up if this person fuck it up and this they're gonna fuck it up just by the way they thinking about it they ain't even gotta do nothing it's their thoughts that's powerful and they're gonna fuck up the situation just by the way they thinking so they need to watch their motherfucking thoughts they need to watch their thoughts it's like a situation that can go so good this weekend it's just beautiful everything just falls into place and then here come motherfucking monday motherfucker get to thinking some bullshit and about to manifest it so yeah just get ready this weekend you know a beautiful new emotional experience with a motherfucker (laughs) who may think the worst about this situation this person thinks the worst (laughs) they think that this shit is about to come to an end (laughs) And it is because they fucking think in that way. So, yeah, just continue doing you. You know what I'm saying? You you living a good life right now. Continue doing that. And whatever this person is thinking, it ain't you can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't do nothing about it. They ass is the one gonna be salty at the motherfucking end of it. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be depressed pretty much they're gonna be depressed if this shit really falls like completely down whoo you may want to check on this motherfucker from time to time you know what i'm saying so yeah that's pretty much all i got thumbs the fuck up if that shit just made sense and um yeah see you on the next one peace out y'all